Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Time. I'm your host, Jeff. It's good to have you guys back here. Today we have a movie review called Followhood, starring Kevin Hart and uh, on Netflix. It's a Netflix film. I can't talk this morning. Maybe because I haven't eaten yet. But trying out a different position in front of me this time so hopefully it works out right if it's a little wonky i don't know but let's get to it so fatherhood is starring this man who lost his wife due to childbirth and uh starts off just right in the kicker and he goes through this journey of you know of being a father being a single father raising a child by himself but also with 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 having a good support system to lean on that's that's there that's there that's not crippling him that's actually you know supporting the man and lifting him up i think this is a very rare movie to see in today's time because i haven't really seen any movies about men supporting men uh who are actually single fathers which i know it's out there but i haven't seen it like in a movie i could be wrong leave a comment if if there is another movie out there like that or whatever so he has this. He's he has these two friends. They're they're kind of wonky. It's the guy with no eyebrows. He was in Gotham. I love him. Uh, you have this other comedian dude. I forget his name. I'm not good with names, but I'm really good with faces, mind you. Okay, I'm good with faces. But uh, and so they support him. They you know they tell him you know the truth, what he can and cannot do. People doubt him, and then he has an awakening because you know I can do this. I'm gonna do this no matter what because I'm doing this for my wife and. Um, it's really good. It's actually really inspiring. This is actually a really serious role for Kevin Hart. And so, of course, they do a little time skip and uh, he meets someone and uh, it's not, you know, it's not, uh, you know, it's not what it's all cracked up to be. You know, he actually, he does struggle to get in and he still struggles while he's going through this new relationship. So it's something that's still raw from the loss of his marriage and the protectiveness over his daughter, really showing the father um being protective over over his child you know a good father is supposed to be protective and he just you know he feels that he's shortcoming through this relationship and so you see that progress and then of course you see him overcome uh that grief that that weight that was holding him down holding him back from really flourishing in life and really going forward and being um a better man that his wife knew that he could be and and everything and so it's really good to see. Uh, so that's the premise of the thing, of the of the movie. But Kevin Hart, he did a really good job. I, I, I've been waiting to see him in a serious role. Uh, he still has a little low tone of being like a jokester, but it kind of it kind of fits. Sometimes it might be a little too much, but he's still keeping true to himself, which you know I respect that. But but man, this is this is a really serious film, uh, acting for him, and so there's sometimes where I cried, sometimes where I'm just like, dude, this is this is getting real, man. This is getting real because I didn't have a father growing up, but this is a really good example of really fathers persevering, and so it's on Netflix. If you want to see it, check it out. You're gonna get a good laugh, uh, good cry if you're emotional. You know, I'm not saying I'm emotional, but I just think that it's really really good <laughs> and um uh, the women actually the woman oh man i forget her i forget the actress name she's a little annoying at first it's the mother of the wife that passed away you'll know once you see her uh she's kind of annoying at first but she really just really really cares she just really really cares and wants to see she's going through grief through her own way i thought somebody trying to break into the house this might be a problem y'all about to see a fight on on, on this recording <laughs> so but yeah the, uh, the, the thing things i didn't like about the movie um it was cliche of a movie but reversed usually the girl goes through this breakup you know but it's all like Woo woo witty, witty, poor, poor me. This is actually a real life issue, you know. 
and seeing how everyone doubts the man. And now that, that's real. People doubt men that they can't be good fathers or step up to the plate and really step into the role of fatherhood and actually succeed at it, you know? And uh, so at that point I did like, but the whole plot overall is kind of cliche uh, in a way, but it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. You know, guy meets the girl and they have a little, uh, and then he comes back at the end and woos her and forgives and everything. They try again and they succeed. So that, that, that part, that part, that part, I was like, eh, I could have done better. But overall, that's the part I didn't like. Um, things I did, I, I like the supporting actors, his two friends. Uh, they were really good. I, I forget the grandpa's name, but you'll know him once you see him. He's, he's really, he's a smooth guy. He dresses very well for a grandpa. And uh, got a lot of swag going on. You know what I'm saying? And so, what else I liked about the movie, man? Just the real topic issues that it really, that it really, that Kevin Hart, decided to really touch on about fatherhood i think it's really i think it's really cool i think that's really cool so again hey if you like the video hit that little like button the guy with a thumb that's sticking up and then leave a comment leave a comment sub to the channel my movie time fans okay my movie time fans all right see you next time guys